let's break this video down, guys. So, what we're going to talk about in this topic is why the narcissist chose you. And you know what? Sometimes you could be the one that chose the narcissist. Not necessarily chose them, but like, usually the narcissist does choose you, but you might have sparked a conversation with them first and then they took it from there because sometimes that's all they need. Sometimes too, the narcissist is too prideful to reach out to you first, but if you reach out to them even once or say anything to them, even in person, they'll take that and they'll run a million miles with it. And they will also run you a million miles into the grave. But in this case, if a narcissist does choose you and they reach out to you first and then you start talking to them and you think all of a sudden this is the best thing that's ever happened to you and that they are your soulmate or twin flame or some shit like this, um, that is a huge red flag because they are living like for you. They are living to do something to you. They're not living their own life. It, it, that's that's the biggest red flag, guys. If somebody reaches out to you and starts talking to you and they don't have a life of their own, they're not doing things on a day-to-day -day basis, all they're doing is reaching out to multiple people and they're trying to manipulate everybody else because they don't have a life. They don't do anything fun. They don't have hobbies. They do nothing. They're not talented. They just do nothing. I'll tell you what they are talented at, and that is manipulation. Because it's all they do. It's all they know how to do. They, it's like they have to do this. They have no choice. They don't feel alive from doing anything to do with a hobby. They don't feel alive at work, running a business. They don't feel alive doing any of these things. They feel alive whenever they can gain control over another human being, which could be you. And... They feel alive by being able to control somebody else. Being able to control somebody else's emotions. <sighs> and they are at their best whenever you are at your worst. Whenever you are at your best, they are at their worst. You cannot be equal with them it just does not work it just does not work it's either one or the other with the narcissist and that is something I have figured out if you are really happy they're not going to be really happy because when you're really happy it outshines their happiness no matter how happy they are and it's just it's something fucking crazy with them seriously if you are at your worst, if you are not confident, if you are on a down moment, if you like just went through a heartbreak or some shit like this, right? Could have been with another nerd. They are at their happiest. They're feeding off of whatever you have left. That makes them feel alive to know somebody else is down and somebody else is hurting. To be able for them to be able to disrespect you is like an orgasm to them. Like seriously, that's how sick they are. And whenever you are at your lowest moments, whenever you might not be all there, you're going through a tough time in life. It could be a tough year. It might be a tough one or two or three years. You could be in that rut. You guys know what I'm talking about. This is when they're gonna get you. When you are doing your best, when you have all your shit together, when you're looking good, smelling good, everything's on point, you're being busy, you're productive, you get all your stuff done in the run of a day and you are happy. They're not going to get you when you're at this point because you are too powerful. They know their manipulation has nothing on you because you were just too high up. They can't drag you down because you, you, they know themselves that you would catch them pretty fast. Because you're literally too high up for them to grasp. But whenever you write your down moments, <clears throat> it's whenever they will choose you. Whenever you don't have information. 
this is whenever they're going to choose you. Whenever you don't have the knowledge, whenever, whenever you've never, you might have never been through something like this in your life. They like to date people that has never had a boyfriend or girlfriend before. They like to do this. But somebody that has the information, even the last, like, I feel I've been on point, like, for a very long, I, I feel like I, I've been through an experience before in my life, and after that, like, I've never, ever, ever got fooled again, like, to that extent. There's, like, a situation with a specific person that really broke me as a person. And after that, I've still been through a couple of experiences with a, with a few different people, but it ain't really done nothing to me. And it really did not like take me down too far. Of course, everything's gonna have a slight effect over you, but it was nothing that I couldn't handle. It was something that I easily kind of shook off and kept going. Cause like, I feel like once somebody breaks you, which you don't know what being broke is until it happens. You don't know what's happening until it happens. Of course, everyone in this world is very capable of being broken by another human being. We, we all have the power to do it to somebody else. Because whenever you let yourself into somebody else's life so deeply and so closely, anybody has the power at that point, if they want to turn on you and break you, they can. They can. And the truth of the matter is, some people decide to do something like that to another human being. And it happens majority of the time to be narcs. Normal people are not going to do this. Normal people, even if you go through a breakup, they're going to make it very, like, as easy on you as possible. They're going to make you understand what's happening. When a narc is going to drive you nuts, they're going to take you through the ringer. They're going to make you doubt your entire existence. They're going to want to make you hang from a tree. This is what they do. Because they want you that low, just like they are. <clears throat> and like I said, going back to this for a second, once you've been broken that one time really, really hard, it's hard to get hit like that again. It's really hard to get down to that point again because you know what to expect. Now, I believe some people can be broken more than once by more than one person. But for me, I know I can't. There's no way. Because that, now that it happened once, like really bad, in the back of my head, I know for a fact what can happen. I never knew something like that could ever happen to me. That's how bad it was. And for something to break me, it's got to be something ridiculous, which it was. A long ass time ago, when I was young, didn't have knowledge, no understanding. I didn't think something so horrific, something so hurtful could happen to me like that. I just did not think so. I didn't think it would. But it did. And it made, it, it showed me that these things can happen, and they do happen to everybody. <clears throat> and, um,. Now I just, now that I know what can happen, you can, you can expect it. So it's like, you can see a punch coming now. But before, I could not see that punch coming. And it smashed me. And it put me out. Which, some of the best punches that knock people out are the ones that you don't see coming. Now I see every punch coming. I know that it can happen. So I can see it. So it's not gonna, it, it's gonna, it's gonna hit me. It could stun me a little bit. It could hurt a little bit, but I'm gonna recover fast. It's not gonna take me down completely. It's not gonna necessarily make me lose that fight. And I'm a good fighter. I can come back. I can get hit hard and come back. But when you get hit by something, something so deadly, something that you've never seen coming, there's nothing you can do and there's no coming back from those punches. And that's why the other situations that I've been through, it was still unfortunate, but it's like, I've seen it coming. 
the fact that it happened, it didn't completely take me off guard. It's like I almost expected it. And especially the last couple that I've been through, I really expected it. Because I almost called what was going to happen before it even happened. But yeah, I still took chances. I still went along with it a little bit. Because, you know, you, you never know. You can't just live in fear for the rest of your life. You can't just, like, not try. And that's not who I am. I'm not afraid to fight. I'll get in there. No risk, no reward. You never know. You could have turned down something that could have been the actual love of your life. Like, you, you could have been with this person, but some people might live in fear at some point and just block everybody out. That was never me. And I'll never block everything completely out of my life. I'll block all the wrong things, but if a certain situation happens, I'm going to see what's up. I'm going to test the waters. I'm going to go through the motions. You know what I mean? So, you just got to be careful, guys. You got to know... You gotta know what's going on in this world. You gotta know who people are. You master yourself, you'll master others. If you master yourself, you will get to that point where you start reading other people. And you can start predicting things before they even happen. So, you get to that point, you're, you're at a pretty safe point. And you're a pretty dangerous individual and you're not one to monkey with. You know who you are, you know your shit, and you can read everybody else like a book. Because they're predictable. That's all it is. It's not like you can literally read their mind and everything they're thinking and all this. It's not quite that intense, but it's like you are so yourself and so ahead of the game that human be other human beings are so predictable just because they are. Because the way they do things, the way they're not leveling up, you know what they're doing. When they say the things they say, you know it's coming. You know it's coming after. You know the way they think. A lot of people expose themselves very easily in this world. I don't know if you guys see that or not, but I can see it from a lot of people, and, and I love that. I feel very protected. I feel good. So, <clears throat> it's a dangerous world, guys. You can't take anything too lightly. I'm always aware. I'm always ready. It's like every day is a fight. People that are so think life is all sunshine and rainbows, has their guard down all the time, accepting everybody in their lives, laughing all the time. You're in a very dangerous spot. You're in a very dangerous and vulnerable spot to get hurt, to get broken, to let somebody in that's going to completely disrespect you. So, and narcissists usually go after those types of people. They can try serious people too. They're not going to get too far because they're going to know this is going to be a battle. This is a lot of work that I don't want to do. And narcissists don't want to do any work. They don't want to improve. They don't want to actually be themselves. They just want to manipulate. They just want to live a bullshit life and keep doing what they're doing. Keep doing the bad things that they're doing because they like that. They like the drama. They like the chaos. They like all the toxic things. They're the most toxic things walking on the face of this planet. So, <clears throat> stay sharp, guys. That's all I gotta say. Stay sharp. Be yourself. Keep learning. Keep evolving. Be the strong person that you are, and you might think the more stronger you become, and the more um, further away you become from everybody else. And you know what? I know that's happening for me. I'm not going to say that's happening to me. That's happening for me. I love that. I don't want easy people in my life like that. I don't want these bloodsuckers in my life like that. I want other people who can be themselves. I want other people who are living a life of their own as well. They get life. Not these other clowns. So... I'm going to cut this video off now, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this take. <clears throat> I'll be back tomorrow with some more videos. I hope you guys have a great rest of this day slash evening. And we'll be back tomorrow with some more videos. Until next time, peace out.